In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Namecheap domain over to your Framer website. So here is a website I've built just for this example. So let's jump into it. So what you want to do is go to Framer and log into your account. And once you've logged in, you'll be on the dashboard on the My Workspace area. From here, choose the website you want to connect a custom domain to. So I'm choosing this example website. You can then, once you've finished editing it and you want to publish it, go to settings in the top right hand corner. Then from here, click on domains and by default, the URL will be a subdomain from Framer. Now you want to scroll all the way down to custom domain. And here you can see you can connect a custom domain that you own. Now, if you haven't upgraded yet, it will ask you to upgrade first. You can upgrade to their very basic plan. I think it's four pounds per month. Then you can add a custom domain. So go ahead and check this. Now enter in your domain. Now, since I'm on Namecheap, I've logged in already. I've then gone to domain list and once I'm here, I can then see all of the domains. I'm going to connect this domain here, knowledgebasedvideos.com. So what we'll do is we'll copy this domain. We'll then head back to Framer. We'll type www. Paste in the domain, then click the tick. Now what it will do is it's going to scan for these following DNS records and they make it really easy and simple for us to connect. We just have to add these free records. So go ahead and copy the first value on the right. And we need to add a CNAME record with this value. So go to your domain, go to manage. Once you've done that, scroll down, make sure you're on Namecheap Basic DNS. And then once you're on Namecheap Basic DNS, you can go to advanced DNS. And we need to add the following DNS records. So here where it says host records, we can go add new record. And what we want to add first is a CNAME record. Inside of the host, you want to add www, and then for the value, go ahead and paste in sites.framer.app, and we got this, remember, from Framer. This is the first value here in the table. So we can go ahead and then click the tick here. Now we've done that, we need to add two more records, both of them being A records. So we'll copy the first value of the first A record. You then go add new record, A record. For the host, type at and then for the IP address, paste in the IP address that you've copied, then click the green tick. And then you've got to do this once more for the second value. So this is the second A record. We've copied that. We'll now go add new record, A record at paste in the second IP address, then click the green tick. So now you should have one CNAME record, one A record, which goes to an IP address and then another one. And they should both be different. Now we've done that, we can go back to Framer and it's going to now scan for these DNS entries. You can go ahead and refresh this. And once you've done that, it might say optimized and give it the green tick. If it's green and ready to go, I guess you don't have to do anything else. Uh, you can just click on it and you see the domain here. You can see it's connected. It can take up to 48 hours though, but do be patient and it will connect eventually once the DNS settings have propagated. So that's all you have to do. I hope that helped you out.